coming up on your Tiger TV Morning Show. We are now in full prep mode for one of the biggest events of the school year. Plus, a tiger who made the cut tells us how he did it. And breaking news, our athletic director unveils his plans for the future of Middleton High. Your Tiger TV Morning Show starts right now. Good morning, I'm Jasmine Robinson. And I'm Leif McCowie. More on Mr. Scurry's big reveal in a moment. But first, our top story this morning comes out of Tallahassee from our state capital. Governor Ron DeSantis made a surprise announcement regarding his wife, the state's first lady, Casey DeSantis. Here's reporter Parker Brew with the story. Parker? Sad news to report this morning. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced that his wife, First Lady Casey DeSantis, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Casey is a 41-year-old mother of three and a potential political advisor towards her husband's 2022 re-election campaign. Dr. Brian Zernecki, the chair of the Breast Cancer on Oncology Department at Tampa's Moffitt Cancer Center, believes that DeSantis's diagnosis can help encourage many women to get screened for breast cancer frequently, potentially leave, leading to early detection, which can save lives. Florida has an abnormally high breast cancer rate of 438 cases per 100,000 people, almost four times higher than the national average of 127. The story is still developing. I'm Parker Brew, now back to Studio A. Thanks, Parker. The DeSantis family also has three young children, ages five, three, and one. Our other top story this morning, and on a much lighter note, let the preparations begin. Ticket sales, door decorating, spirit week, and more. The only thing that separates us from homecoming 2021 is the weekend. We begin our, our team coverage with reporter Sophia Santana. Good morning. I'm Sophia Santana, here to tell you that homecoming is clearly in full swing. Our theme this year is dancing through the decades with each grade level having a different era. Teachers throughout the school are setting up their doors for a contest in order to be named Best Door. So students, make sure to help your teachers to win. All doors need to be done by the end of Friday the 8th and winners will be announced on the 12th. Spirit Week begins Monday with Best Dress for each day getting free homecoming tickets. So make sure to bring your A-game, Tigers. Also, next week homecoming court voting begins Monday on Canvas and ends Tuesday. Results will be announced Thursday and Friday. I'm Sophia Santana, now back to you. Wow, this year's homecoming sounds like it's gonna be a good one. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it to this year's homecoming, but I've heard nothing but great things about it and wish you guys the best of fun. The other story we're following this morning is the appointment of our new athletic director. Mr. Henry Scurry has big plans for our sports program here at Middleton. He laid out his visions to Tigers TV's Teremaya Knott. This is not Mr. Henry Scurry's first time working with high school athletics. He's traveled world before. Scurry says although his new job will require a lot of, his, of him, he's up for the challenge. I have a history of being a head coach and, a, and coaching football and other sports throughout, so it's kind of the next progression. And he's already thinking ahead of the future. Some changes that I would like to see is, first of all, that we get to class on time. Because it's very important that we protect instructional time. Some of the plans Ms. Kerr has included tearing up the concrete track and replacing it with rubber track, which is easier for the runners. We're actually going to get a, a turf field and a brand new rubber track Ooh. and a brand new scoreboard. So we're in the process now of making plans for that. And the biggest thing is, is enjoying those new things, but taking care of them. There's a softer side to Mr. Scurry's ice plan as well. Well, moving forward, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with uh, the student body, with the teachers, with the administration to develop that family that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, some opportunities for you all as students to come out and, and help uh, make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do and we're having fun in the process. I'm Teremiah Knott for Tiger TV Network. Thanks, Teremiah, and congratulations to Mr. Scurry. Congratulations are also in order for a Tiger alum who's doing great things. He is literally and figuratively making the cut. Jason Hodges earned his barbering license while he was a student here at Middleton. He was just 17 years old when he did it and he passed the certification on his first try. Jason is now certified to work at any barber shop in the state of Florida, and he told Tiger TV's Alexia Bolden how he did it. 
morning. I'm on location in our Tiger Barber Shop located in the downstairs 300 building. We have with us the one and only Jason Hodges. Our Tiger alum who commissioned the state to become certified as a barber at the age of 17. It felt really good to be able to get the certificate and pass the test because now I have an option to do more than work a regular job and I can make part of my career. I plan to build my clientele and just cut hair and then have to eventually not cut hair and make money. Okay. How did Middleton High School prepare you for the opportunity that you have now? By having a barbering program and letting me join, get my hours and take the exam. Jason, thank you so much and congratulations once again. On location at our Tiger Rub Shop, I'm Alexia Bolden. Now back to, to the studio. And finally this morning, highlighting stellar Tiger students. Here's Jacob Greenwell with a look at this nine weeks students of the week. Jacob. Good morning. Middleton has a student of the week program. It's an incentive for where students are recognized for outstanding behavior in the land of the tiger. Several students were recognized during the month of September. I spoke with one of them, Elijah Manu. What does student of the month entail? Um, you know, dedication, hard work, coming to school every single day, you know, the mindset you gotta win. And overall, how does honor make you feel? Um, I feel pretty good. It's a good title to obtain, and I want to work for more, you know. And then, what all do you enjoy most about this school? Um, I definitely enjoy the diversity in the school, you know, different cultures all around you. I like the music room especially. During lunch, you know, yeah, I like to chill in there, play the piano or something. Yeah. Here's a look at some of our other students recognized during the first nine weeks. I'm Jacob Greenwell, now back to Studio A. Thanks Jacob, and thank you for making Tiger TV your source for news and information here at Middleton High School. I'm Jasmine Robinson. And I'm Leith McCowey. Join us next week, same time, same place, and same station. Until then, have a wonderful weekend and make it a great rest of the day today in the mighty land of the Tigers.